This paper predicted the coronavirus outbreak in China one year before it happened. It was published in March 2019, and it had this statement. It is generally believed that bad-born coronavirus will re-emerge to cause the next disease outbreak. In this regard, China is a likely hotspot. The challenge is to predict when and where, so that we can try our best to prevent such outbreaks. So, if this was published in March 2019 and coronavirus outbreak was announced in December 2019, why didn't anyone do anything during this whole time? The paper is titled Bat Coronavirus in China and it was published by four researchers. This paper came from Wuhan Institute of Virology, which is located in Wuhan, the place where the outbreak began. The paper was received on the 29th of January 2019. Just to be clear, this is a review paper. And review papers take a while to write. Which means the researchers have been working on writing this paper since 2018. So, it was received on the 2019th of January 2019 and published in the journal on the 2nd of March 2019. So, that is 10 months before the outbreak. In this paper, the researchers express their concern over a virus that will emerge from bats. As they stated, it is highly likely that future SARS or MERS-like coronavirus outbreaks will originate from bats, and there is an increased probability that this will occur in China. Therefore, the investigation of bat coronaviruses becomes an urgent issue for the detection of early warning signs, which in turn minimizes the impact of such future outbreaks in China. In this paper, they also link bat to coronavirus before it was even confirmed. According to their hypothesis, since bats travel over long distances, they can have higher chances of picking up deadly pathogens from one location and transmit that virus into another location. And because bats are mammals, they will very likely eventually transmit these deadly pathogens into humans. They also predicted how the transmission of the virus from bats to humans may likely to occur. As they say, Chinese food culture maintains that live slaughtered animals are more nutritious, and this belief may enhance viral transmission. Because of the track record of how many similar viruses bats have hosted, in other words, viruses that have the same or similar genome, they predicted that bats will be the means of the transmission of the new virus into humans. So, with all of this information, why didn't anyone do something about this? Someone knew about this a year in advance and warned us. But still, these warnings didn't get enough attention. The researchers even published the paper in an open access journal, which means anyone can read the article. They even had it under Creative Commons license, which means anyone can copy-paste it and republish it anywhere with the proper attribution. So, was this a wild guess? Or was there really a cover-up? Is it true that the Chinese government censored information about the virus until it was too late? This can be a wild guess because the researchers used genetic data to build the profile of the potential emerging virus. They also compared the new data with previous outbreaks that happened with similar viruses before, such as SARS in 2003 and MERS in 2012. If the researchers knew about this, shouldn't they have made more efforts to alert the world? And if they did, was there someone to stop them? In the end, the real question should be, should the world punish countries that censor information about potential outbreaks of new deadly pathogens? One thing for sure, research papers on biology are endless, and they are becoming cramped. With so much data and so many publications on biology, it's hard to see which one is more important and in need for urgent attention. Maybe the prediction for the next outbreak is already published, but we just can't spot it.